What's up, guys and gals of the internet? Thank you for tuning in to The Juice. This is our weekly show. We like to take whatever news is going on in the gaming world and hash it out for your viewing pleasure. We are rolling slightly light today. Yeah. It's just the dynamic duo with my best friend here, Clark. What's up, guys? How y'all doing? How are we gonna How are we gonna do the show today? It's, today's gonna be a good show. We're gonna be a little off topic because we don't have anyone to tell us that we're going off topic. When the dynamic duo of Clark and Logan are here, there's nobody to tell us what to do. We just yeah. kind of do whatever we want. And this is how it works. We're just gonna just let it flow and just see where it takes us. Yeah, we yeah. don't have a uh, Clark and not Clark. We don't have Jared and Micah here today. Yeah. So mm-hmm. and it's kind of bad when you have your your buddies who committed to this thing just flake out on you. Yeah, it does. It, it hurts does you. hurt. It hurts you deep in your soul, right? Yeah. It just really kills you. I thought we had a commitment. I thought we did as well, and yeah. then just not here. It just hurts. Yeah. We're gonna make sure they see this video so they see us. Yeah. Might just put a little a little water, get some tears running down on our face. You know. Can, yeah. Do something. Just like editing. I'm just gonna edit in a tear, just like, and then like, you know a how, like the Snapchat music. filter, the Snapchat filter of the tears. Try to get that in there. I'm gonna put some violin music in this. Yeah, sad, like, sad. Maybe turn it black and white. Yes, and like uh, a like a Tim Burton movie. Yeah, like a Tim Burton movie, and have the 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 one song. The sound it's like, yeah. "Hello, darkness, my old friend." That's and exactly and how we're, we're gonna do here, it. Just sinking into our chairs and sadness. That's just what we're gonna do. That's how the show's gonna be. Tell, it's gonna be a sad show because we have of like ten minutes days. long and just like us just slightly disappearing. Ten in our minutes chair. of us just sitting and, and just playing and the just entire. Slightly going down in our chair as the ten minutes go by. <laughs> Slowly, and it takes a full ten minutes. A full ten minutes just to get underneath the table. It's gonna be a solid three minutes, of just the neck up, just yeah, going down. We're gonna play the sound of silence like four times because <laughs> it's gonna take that long for us to sing. <laughs> yes. All um, right. To get into the news, see, this is what happens when it's just us. We just rant. <laughs> To get into the news, Neil Druckmann put out a tweet talking about uh, the Uncharted movie. He tweeted the guy who is pinning the script. I think it's Joe something Carnahan. Mm -hmm. Uh, His quote was, I've heard what I've heard is the Naughty Dog guys are really happy with it. But who knows? That could be like Trump hearing something may not be true at all. So Neil Druckmann took a screenshot of that Mm -hmm. text and tweeted out. A recent quote from the writer of the Uncharted film. We know nothing about the film. Wish he'd stop implying that he has our support. That's kind of loaded yeah. and slightly aggressive. And so, I guess my question is, what do you think about his comments there in the movie? And what is your comments or about video game movies in general? Do you think this should even be a thing? I don't think so. Because I think videos, video games are just their own form of entertainment. Oh, yeah. I think it's own branch of media. It's own, yeah. I mean, it, it depends on some people like reading books. Yeah. Some people like watching movies. And some people like playing video games. I some think people they, like looking at paintings. Yeah. I think they all convey a, a different person's uh, enjoyment, enjoyment of, of, like to of see. media. Because mm-hmm. to me, like watching a movie and, or reading a book, you kind of put yourself in a character in a in a way yeah like you kind of was like oh it's like especially I, I say reading a book more you kind of like you developed a character in your head you get that sense of imagination yeah. you're in that character's shoes yeah and in the movie you watch yeah you, you watch just watch somebody. them the character do what he does it's it's less of yeah putting yourself in there or oh, it is kind of putting yourself in, but it's more like relating to them yeah. in a form of sense and then but in video games you can easily Engulf yourself into a character. Yeah. You can you can go all the way in. You can play as your character, as mm-hmm. the character. Let's say for playing Uncharted, mm-hmm. you can play as Nathan Drake, or like some people would like somehow embody themselves as Nathan yeah. Drake. It's kind of like I am Nathan yeah. Drake. This is what my Nathan this Drake is, does. This is this is me na- as Nathan Drake. Hardcore role playing. Yeah. Just See, sneaking around and just. That's why I like video games so much because I think it's the most immersive way to tell the story. Yeah. And that's why I love them so much, which I love movies and stuff like that also, but I just. That's why I like video yeah, games video. before other mediums. Mm-hmm. I was kind of interested by his comments because that tells me that, like, they're making this movie and they're not really getting much of an opinion from the Naughty Dog guys and what they think about <laughs> yeah. it. That's kind of messed up. That's like taking, like, hey, that's like if you wrote a book. Mm hmm. It was like, I'm going to take your book and I'm going to adapt it to uh, a movie. That's mm-hmm. a perfect example, a movie. And I'm basically going to take this movie and I'm going to do whatever I want with it. Not whatever I want. I'm going to try to, I'm going to keep it close to the source material, as they might say. But basically, I'm going to make whatever movie I want and I'm not going to consult you on it at all. <laughs> or I, I can kind of throw shade. Yeah, well. And be like, I'm kind in, of consulting In you. that, like. It's different because, like, in a book, it's your interpretation. Yeah. If you're going to change a book to a movie, it's your interpretation. Mm-hmm. 
of that book. And and I understand that. And maybe and and there has been backlash between uh, authors and directors about all the books time. all the time. And, and and that's just something that happens. Yeah. But like when it comes to like a video game in a movie, mm-hmm. it doesn't even compare. Like, Especially with the games that Naughty Dog puts out, yeah. like Uncharted, that is it plays like a movie mm-hmm. already. Already, it's like a CG movie that you are playing. So it's kind of like I'm curious. Some, some other things that I saw about his uh, his comments about the script were that he made it rated R because it makes sense mm-hmm. to the games and things like that with like the cussing and stuff like that. And I was kind of thinking like. I don't. The games don't really yeah. come off as rated R to me. Like no. maybe a PG thirteen with violence and stuff like that. It's it's basically it. Here's my big thing about it's my same complaint. with when people say, "Hey, let's make an Uncharted movie," they already have un- an Uncharted trilogy. You know what it's called? Mm-hmm. It's called Indiana Jones one, two, and three. Raiders of the Lost Ark, Temple of Doom, and The Last Crusade. Yeah, those are Uncharted movies. That's what they're so heavily influenced by. If you want to see an Uncharted movie, I know obviously it's not the same thing. Yeah. But basically, you want to see an Uncharted movie? Go watch Indiana, Indiana Jones. Jones. It's the same thing pretty yeah. much. It's They're so similar that it's kind of like, what's the point of even making an Uncharted movie? Now, like, I love movies, and of course I'll see it, but if it's bad, I'm going to mm. be a huge critic on it. Yeah. Because I don't necessarily know if it should be made in the first place. And the thing is, video game movies have a track record of sucking. Yeah. And so, like, you have... Probably the best video game movie I could think of that because it's like so just corny and out there, but I just love it all the same is Mortal Kombat. Oh yeah, because it came out in like the the eighties or nineties, and it's just so corny and campy. And it's just great. It's just so much fun to watch. Like I didn't uh, watch the new Assassin's Creed movie. I didn't either. I didn't either. But like, heard it was terrible. Uh, yeah, and so like just I would always see it's like I would love Assassin's Creed to be a book. Like when yeah, I was playing Assassin's Creed, it's like, it like yeah, it's like I would love to see like this. It's like books. I would love to read more about yeah. this. Movie wise, it, as we can tell, it didn't really mm-hmm. transition very well. Assassin's Creed. See, a lot of times with video games, people think of them in terms of a movie, mm-hmm. and I guess. I couldn't really see them being adapted to movies. I could see video games being adapted to. Oh, excuse me being adapted to TV better. Yeah. Like, uh, for instance, what was the one I just had in my head? Uh, like, I would like to see people take, like, a, like a world that somebody has, but kind of like they did with Assassin's Creed where they took, like, the lore and the animus, all mm-hmm. that, and they made their original story. But, I mean, it still kind of sucked, which is, yeah. it's sad. I wish it would have been good, but that's what I want. But I would like them to see them take, like, like a Fallout mm-hmm. and basically just take that concept, take the world and build your original characters, your original story around that, and make a TV show. Yeah. Spe- uh, sp- not specifically. Uh, what was the word I'm looking for? Personally, I'm just going to say that. Personally, I want them to make, like, in the vein of, like, an HBO show mm-hmm. or, like, a Netflix show or something like that. Yeah. Somewhere where they don't have reins on them. Or even AMC. AMC is good about letting their creators kind of do what they want. Yeah. Like, give me a world that a game has created. But make your own original content around that world. That's yeah. what I want. Because otherwise, you just get kind of like these half-baked things that you can compare. And then it's just kind of like, it's never going to be as good. Yeah. It's kind of like when people talk about books and movies. Everybody always says the book is better. So it'd be easier if you take a world and you create your own original thing. Yeah. You know, Take kind of like the tone of that world and adapt it to something that's cool and imaginative to watch, you know. Yeah. That's what I want. I would kill for a Fallout TV show. Yeah, I would. I think too. that would be like, cool. I think they could do it really. Which cool. I think they have like there's a few TV shows that I have seen that's kind of has like a Fallout vibe to mm-hmm. them, but like the show Jericho. Yeah, like if but if they could do that, like just think I'm thinking of Fallout Four, like that kind of could have translated to a movie. Oh, to be a, so like, easily the main like the main story. Yeah, just the main storyline that like. I'm imagining like, can you imagine how cool? Like the costume design and stuff would yeah. be where you have like these 1950s characters, but in kind of like this futuristic dystopian Fallout mm-hmm. world. That would look awesome. Yeah. It would I really kind of want to follow a great. Shoot TV show now. Netflix, Netflix, pick that up. Please do us a favor. It would make us all happy. 